Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to create an animated reaction GIF to share on social media using Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Thumbs up, hearts, and other built-in reactions are fun, as are memes and GIFs, or GIFs if you prefer. What if you created your own custom reaction GIF to share as comments on social media? Well, that's what we're going to do today, and we're going to use Doodly to do it. You might be wondering, wait, does Doodly create GIFs? No, it doesn't. Uh, it does support them as imported images in your videos, inside your Doodly videos. And this is a GIF file that I created originally in Doodly and then turned into a animated GIF offsite and then imported it back in. So I'm going to show you how to do all that. So let's go ahead and delete this and let's head over to Canva for a moment. Earlier today, I took this snapshot of myself pointing up because we're going to do our own version of the this meme. So I'm pointing up and then I'm going to write in the words this. But it's got all my junk in the background. So that's why I'm in Canva, because I want to use the handy background remover tool and just get this, okay? And we'll make it a little bit bigger. And that'll be fine. So we're going to go ahead and export it. So hit share, download. Now I want it to be transparent. So I want to make sure I choose the PNG file type and click the transparent background so that this white doesn't come across. Hit download. Put it on my desktop. And let's go back to Doodly. Go to props. Hit the little blue and white plus sign. And I'm going to drag my file in. Something like that. Or like that. Maybe like that. And then let's do some text. Choose a fat font for this. And let's make this really big. I think I'll make it red. And then I think I'll go to props. And I'm going to choose these up arrows as well. And my fingers should be more than enough, but we're just going to go a little bit over the top here. And I think that's fine. And let's have me come on. For 0.5 seconds, and I'm going to choose fade. So hit the pencil icon, fade, and then we're going to have the hand write this on, and then the hand will write each of these on. But let's have it do it for like a second each, and then let's give time at the end. We'll just say five seconds. And let's choose a hand style. We'll do this one. Let's take a look. And that's fine. So let's hit export. Now that's going to export. Let's go over to easygif.com. Now choose video to GIF. And then once this has been completed, which it has, so show, show the export, just go ahead and grab it and then drag it in. Give it a moment to upload. Now there are multiple tools that you could use. You don't have to use this one. This one is just the one I use all the time, but there are plenty of others. Just type into Google video to GIF converter and you should be able to find something. So here it is. And I'm going to choose a different frame rate. So I think I probably can go up to 25. It just depends on how long your video is. And I'm going to go ahead and convert. And right there, that's it. So now all I have to do is save it to my computer, like so. 
And now I can post it in social media whenever I agree with something. I can just post this instead of somebody else's this. And that's all there is to it. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thank you for watching.